This is Lee with 82 Gaming, and we've got a video over by Stealth and Sea by Dan Verser Games, created by David Thompson and Nicola uh, Sagini. And the cover art uh, is by Rudolf Claudus. This is a uh, Italian human torpedo attack. Uh, attacks during World War II uh, in the Mediterranean. Um, we're going to have a playthrough of the first scenario. Um, the first mission, I guess you call it. Um, this took place uh, on, well, I guess uh, in October, uh, late October, 1940. It was a failed mission due to the faults in the crafts. Uh, thing is, one of the SLCs was found in the British and, tr and triggered into motion or countermeasures. <clears throat> so uh, they're not; they weren't able to uh, get to any of the the ships to uh, detonate. Um, so we've got uh, three SLCs and. Um, to start the, the game, you have uh, a uh, forward positioning uh, phase, which uh, this is the La Spezia. And what we have is we have each SLC begins with one surge token. And uh, that's the white token, uh, which can be used uh, to add one to a die or to re-roll. Okay, and then you'd remove the token. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull back here. Uh, this is uh, happening uh, at Gibraltar. And so we've got the SLCs down here on the bottom and then up there we have the harbor. Uh, up in here's the harbor. We've got an aircraft carrier. There's a battleship, another battleship over here. And the rest of these are, are a lot uh, smaller uh, vessels, whether they're big uh, uh, cruisers or light cruisers. Uh, then we got some uh, cargo ships over here, these outlined in green. Okay, they're only worth one point. Uh, these lighter ships are worth um, three. We've got the Sheffield is a cruiser it's worth five so these others got to be like destroyers light cruisers um so forth um okay so back to the La, La, uh, spazia and we've got two fault checks that we have to uh perform on each of the slcs before the mission begins and it gives us the target location okay so let's perform these uh, fault checks over here Okay, I've got uh, SL1 at the top, and uh, we've got Berendelli Bar and Pacignini, okay, operating that, these, that uh, craft, SLC2, Tasia, and Pad Padretti, and they actually get to uh, have a plus one to repair, and they uh, also get to, uh, to roll two, two repaired dice instead of one. So they're pretty skilled. And then we have Durant de la Pina and uh, Biana Chi. Biana Chia. Uh, they've got a stamina bonus uh, and uh, plus one on their stamina rolls. Okay. So, okay, let's go with uh, SLC1. We've got to draw two of these fault. Uh, this is a battery fault. Uh, repair check is five. Discard uh, SLC token and this card. Okay. So... And we gotta roll five or six. So, okay, so we've got to discard uh, one of the batteries. 
So that's what we do. Okay, next card. Oh, battery fault. Repair check three. Okay, so we gotta get a three, four, five, or six. Oh, they don't. Well, with that battery, all they can do now is scuttle. So they're gonna be out of the uh, out of the mission. So and I get a victory point though for scuttling. Okay, the next one has a uh, SLC two has a ballast tank failure. So they get to roll two dice for repairs. Repair checks. And they have to get a six, which they got a five plus one is a five. So this goes beside that with the ballast tank right there. Okay, they gotta get that fixed. And then they have a battery fault. So they get to roll two dice again and they pass that. I needed a six. Okay, SLC, which is the bottom here. Transmission fault. So they're gonna need a six. Oh, we got a five. All right, so this is placed next to the card and the transmission token, which means they cannot full move. And SLT can only surface only. They can only go surface. And the other is uh, the top one there, they can't move. And they can't fix that. The battery's gone. It's just not any good. Okay, next car, transmission fault again. They really don't need to roll there because they've already got the transmissions messed up. So, okay. So, <clears throat> that's uh, all we had to do at the beginning of the mission. Now we can start the mission. Um, SLC-1 uh, basically is out of the mission, but they can still scuttle. All right, let's roll to see uh, what you have to do. You roll uh, at the beginning to see which of the three uh, crafts will have uh, uh, had to check uh, for a uh, some kind of fault. So we roll the dice and the first one up there. So what happens? Warhead fault. Five or a six. Oh, they got a three. So they're warhead fault also. Okay. So now we go to our actions. Each of them have two actions unless they're stunned. If they were stunned, they would be flipped over and it says one action point. They all have two action points here. We're getting that in focus. Two action points. Okay. So SL1, let's see here. Uh, they can't move, but they can scuttle. So that's what they're going to do. Okay, so we're going to use both action points to scuttle, which then we would put... Uh, this right there for scuttling and we got to then check to see if the operators uh oops move this over here so you can see what's going on so i move the landing craft i'm mean the craft here uh over here into the scuttled area and then i have to look for uh escaping Okay, special action can only be taken in response to a trigger. Maybe taken in action, specific action result of this will scuttle or an attack. Make a stamina skill check. Use the highest die roll result and modify it as follows. Plus one if the time token is on 500 or earlier. Uh, plus one if operator card is ready, so they get plus two. Okay, and their stamina check is, they just roll one die. So here we go, we got, uh, oh, we got a one. 
Uh, and we get a plus two, that's a three or lower. Captured, remove the operator card from the game. So they're captured. But it says award one victory point at the end of, of a mission if captured. So they're captured. Okay. Back over here. So those guys are out. Now, number two here. Uh, they can only surface. So we want to we want to see about uh, fixing our ballast tank. So that's what we got here. Faulty ballast tank. We need a six. Uh, let's see. Are we going to roll that? I guess we're going to roll that. We get to roll two dice and add plus one. We didn't succeed. Okay, so we can't do that again. So now what we have to do is, let's see here, we want to... We want to move. Full move. Four, five, or six. Oh, we're good. Okay, so we can move uh, three spaces here. One, two, three. Okay. And then... Uh, these guys here have a transmission fault. They can't move. So they're going to spend two, there are two, there are two actions to get their transmission fixed. And that's what they do. Okay. So now we go on to the uh, next phase, which is the uh, harbor defenses. And the first thing we do is we check searchlights. Okay. And both of them are surfaced. So we've got to check the alert cards. So SLC two draws a three, so they're fine. SL three, SLC three draws a seven, so they're fine. Okay, then we don't have any underwater dive team. We got patrol craft response. If they're both surfaced, we got nine plus. It's going to be right here, nine plus. So the first one is an eight, so they're safe. Number three, it's a five, so they're safe. Okay, so that's it for uh, for that round. And we can move the time marker. We can remove all the, do the cleanup here. We don't have any much to clean up. Okay, so now we roll the next round we roll to see if uh which one of these slcs are going to malfunction number three has to draw a fault card and they draw a warhead fault i just get one dice here and i go roll to one so they're going to have a warhead fault so we put it over here take the warhead off I can remove this stuff here. That way we get this out of the way so we're not looking at that one. Okay. Now. Uh, actions. These guys are going to automatically repair their ballast tank. Use both their actions. Okay. And um, SLC is going to use, uh, tell you what, they're going to just move forward. They can automatically do that when they're surfaced. Full move, surfaced, success. We move three spaces, so move up here beside SLC. Okay, so then we go back to the harbor defenses, and we have the searchlights. And they're both surface, so 10 plus. Oops, wrong card. Alerts. Got a six, so oh, number two safe. Number three gets an eight, they're safe. So then we go to the patrol craft. And patrol craft, if you look at the patrol craft, it says uh, surfaced nine. Okay, so we got to roll to see if they get detected. 
by the service craft. Ooh, number two is gonna be detected. So we bring out the surface craft, lowest number, which is the number one, flip them over, and we gotta put a detection marker here. Okay, and then on number three, got a 10, 10 plus. So they're also, or nine, they're also detected. We put this other patrol craft, which is number two, flip it over and put it in front of number three there, and they're detected, so they're both detected. Okay, uh, if we've fallen along with our uh, harbor defenses, we move down to uh, harbor craft to we'll movement. They can't move because uh, they are exhausted by moving up to where the uh, SLCs are at. And we can't, don't do any attacking because they're not in the same hack. So, all right, now we do our cleanup phase, which, oops, man, what's going on here? big jerk here which means we're going to flip these guys over and we're kind of it's a deal here there we go okay so we cleaned up and now we have to advance the time marker 130 okay so now we roll to see which craft will might be having a uh, malfunction in number three, so they're out. We don't have to worry about that. Whoa, what's going on here? I keep moving or something. There we go. Okay. So... If we submerge, what is happening here? There we go. Camera kept slipping. Um, if we submerge, we get rid of our uh, detection marker. So, dive, we would have to get a four, five, or six. So number two is gonna try to dive. Oh, we got a one, so that was unsuccessful. Um, I guess they're gonna try to move, do a full move. Let's uh, roll that, full move, service move. Gotta have a four. And nothing. They don't get to move at all. So number three, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to try to submerge. i got to have a four. Rule of two. Okay, so they're going to try to move now. And they got a two, so they can't move. So we don't have to worry about searchlights. They're already detected. Um, and we've already got harbor craft on them. So, I don't think we have to, Well, I guess we still still draw to see if there's uh, um, if the harbor sends more uh, craft, so they're uh, surfaced, but they're detected. So seven, seven or m more. So number two, yeah, we get another craft. 
Okay, so number three gets gets placed in into that hex, and then number three gets a ten. So they get another one. So that's uh, that's all the craft. They're exhausted, of course. Okay, then we go to move. Well, since they're detected, they're going to be in the same hex, so they're going to move right here. And these guys are going to move right there, and we're going to have combat. So, okay, it says combat. Okay, surface plus seven plus, submerge 10 plus. So, let's see, number two, which is right here. Oh, we got a nine. Okay, so that is gonna stun those guys. They're gonna be stunned. So I flipped the, uh, I flipped their, uh, <clears throat> flip their card over. Okay. Operator card. Okay. And number three, it's a four. So they're okay. Okay. So now we go to the next turn. So we're flipping these guys over. Okay. So, okay, roll to see which one uh, might possibly have a defect. Number three. And what do they get? Ballast tank fault. So they got a roll of five, five or six. That's not good. Two. So that, that, causes problems. That's their ballast tank. So they can only surface only till they get that fixed. Okay. Number two here is just going to move straight ahead. They're going to have to roll first. We didn't go anywhere. Okay. Number three is going to use both their movements to move straight ahead three. One, two, three. They're still detected, though. Okay. Um, we don't have any more crafts to put on. No searches, searchlights needed. So now we just have attack. So we should go two and two. So these guys will go there. These guys will move up there too. These guys are attacking here. Okay, so number two is getting attacked. The attack is seven plus. Seven plus, that's it, they got them. So these guys are taken, captured, uh, and so forth. Okay, up here at the top, we got a five. And then we got a four, so they weren't able to do anything with those two guys. Uh, but this unit here is captured. Not scuttled, but he's captured. And these two patrol boats are right there. Okay. So there's only that one left. We flip everybody over. Uh, these guys are all in the same hex together. number on those guys represents something. Okay. All right. So... We advance the time marker. We're at uh, 200, 2 o'clock. And right here, uh, let's roll to see if they possibly have a default. They can only, they're only on the surface. So, uh,
they've got to turn the direction here. Change direction, surfaced, uh, successful. Okay, so they're going to turn right there and then use the other action to move three or two and they get to do that. So they're going to move two, which is right there. Okay, so uh, harbor defenses, these guys both are going to return here because they're f more than four away. These guys are just going to move up here to attack again. So we got two, two uh, cards to draw, seven plus to attack. Nine, okay, so they are able to... Uh, Shock the disorganized shock, whatever. Okay, we roll a uh, draw another card, and that's a 10, and so they capture them. All right, so uh, my Italian uh, human torpedoes are uh, defeated. They're, uh, two of them are captured and one scuttled. And so point-wise, um, let's see here. Should have some points here. Okay. Nobody escaped. Oh, well, let's see. At, well, after they're attacked, I think they just, they're defeated. Let's see the escape thing here. Oh no, yeah, they don't get to try to escape. They're capped, they're, they're, they're just defeated. So, looks like point-wise, I got one point. That's a loss. So, very interesting game. Uh, it has a lot of replay because you have three different uh, boards, and they're mounted, which I love that. And so you have all these different um, operators, okay? Plus you can create your own. Uh, you got some that uh, you can create yourself. You got uh, all these harbor defenses that uh, change uh, as if you play, a, say, a campaign, okay? Uh, a lot of replayability because you know it's going to be it's going to be different each time because you have these cards so you don't know what's going to happen to your uh your SLCs your crafts all these different faults okay wetsuit fault which i didn't have battery breathing gear fault which then comes into stamina uh and so you just have all these different faults that occur and of course uh You've got the alert cards, which are going to be random. So you've got, you know, that uh, randomness there. So very uh, nice solitaire game that's very unique. I don't know that there's too many games out there even uh, taking this um, topic uh, and doing anything with it. It's uh, very unique in that fashion. Um, and just a great solitaire game. A uh, lot of fun. Uh very exciting um and it's uh you know it's very challenging because uh you know it's not easy to uh uh keep your crafts uh fall free and it's also difficult to escape the the harbor when they uh detect you it's difficult to escape um especially when you have some kind of fault going on with your crafts so uh, this is a game that I would recommend uh, to anyone out there that uh, is interested in this type of maybe this topic or or any kind of naval uh, you know battle type topic, uh, World War II, uh, very interesting, unique, and a lot of uh, uniqueness to the the way the game plays uh, with the card system uh, and with the different dice that you have. Um, and so uh, I like this game. Uh, it'd probably be on my table, uh, you know, quite often. Uh, 
you know, when because it you know didn't take long to play. Uh, this was under thirty minutes, and so uh, I think David Thompson and Nicola Saganini. Sagini, Nicola Sagini, I guess is the way it should be pronounced. And uh, I love the artwork. Um, this is actually uh, really neat too, uh, this picture. Um, but uh, so if you don't have this, I suggest that you, you uh, find it. Maybe uh, you can get it on the DVG uh, website um, and maybe find it on eBay or another uh, game uh, company. Uh, I think I got mine from uh, Noble Knight uh, Games. Uh, mine was brand new. Still had the shrink wrap on it. Still counters not punched. Um, and, uh, you know, I like a lot of the DVG uh, solitaire games. I've got quite a few of them that I've... I've picked up that I'm trying out. Uh, I've got the uh, B-17 uh, leader. I've got the Nim Nimitz. Uh, I've got uh, the Alexander that I'm excited about getting that up to the table and playing it. Um, I've got uh, Warfighter, World War II. So I've got quite a few of the games.